So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your MIDI drum pads on your MIDI keyboard to use inside of FL Studio on a program like FPC or something else that will trigger drum sounds in your songs. So let's jump in. So first we're going to open up FPC and then we're going to load in the drum kit that we want to use. After dropping in the drum kit, we're gonna come down here where it says map notes for entire bank. And then we're going to press each one of the pads, switch the bank, and go back to the same thing. Now we have everything mapped in. And then we're gonna start practicing with the snare so that we know what we're gonna record when we actually start recording with the MIDI. Now let's go ahead and record it. Press R to start the recording. kick drum, just find a good pattern that works for that. Then we're going to press R and record that pattern with the kick. And then we'll go in to adjust the quantization, select just the snare and then adjust the start timing on those things just to make sure that they line up a little bit better. Listen through and adjust things as we go along, shifting some notes around for the kick just to make everything line up a little bit better. And then listen back through it just to make sure everything sounds okay. And again, go back through and adjust notes so that they line up correctly. Make sure that it's what we wanted to hear through it again, start practicing with some hi-hats. Go ahead and record the pattern for the hi-hats. I'm going to go through and adjust the velocity by control clicking on the closed hat and then using the alt and the scroll wheel when I'm inside of where the notes are at to adjust the velocity just for the hi-hat versions until I get them to a point that I like them so they're not too loud in the mix. And I'm going to practice with some toms and then I'm going to record in a little tom fill in one part of this song. adjust the quantization for the hi-hats and then listen back through everything one last time. Well, hopefully that was helpful for you to be able to see how to use the MIDI pads inside of FL Studio when you're working on a project. If you need some help figuring out how to set up the pads inside of FL Studio, I have another quick one minute video that will walk you through how to set up those pads so that you can use them to trigger your drum samples inside of FPC. And I will see you in the next round.